Hi Virgo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another love check-in for the second half of June. Virgo, these are general collective readings, so each and every one will, of these will not resonate with all you Virgos out there. So take what works for you, okay, and leave the rest. Also, time is fluid. This is something you could have just gone through, are going through, or will go through in your immediate future. So don't get fixated on the day, dates, time, etc. So let's begin. Dear God, Goddesses, Angels, Spirit Guides, please send us the message Virgo needs to hear the most about their love life, the second half of June. Thank you. So Virgo, all you subscribers, thank you so much for supporting my channel. It's new and feels really good to know that you guys are watching and enjoying these readings. Uh, and if you're new, please do hit that subscribe button and give me a like if you like the way I read this, the cards. It's really helpful to me as well. Thank you. Oh, why Virgo, why? What happened here? Third party situation in the past? Good, at least you're ending up with the five of wands which is letting go of the conflict. So, okay, so one person here, uh, Virgo, in the past was really ready to go all out for it, right? Uh, they really wanted to make something happen, but they didn't succeed, it seems. Okay, the Empress is in reverse. Why? Because the other person was not being fair. There was no equal give and take maybe in the past. Uh, one person was giving more than the other. Virgo, I don't know whether this side is you. Maybe you were giving more to the other. And uh, this person, I think, uh, didn't appreciate it. Okay? Even though person A here, Virgo, if the, I'm going to call this you, you had a lot of passion. You wanted to move ahead in this relationship. But somehow you found it impossible to grow. Right? You found it impossible to grow here. Why? Because this person was not, he was breadcrumbing you. Maybe giving to more than one. And uh, yeah, I have the three of wands here as well. So maybe this person was always looking out to see what else is out there. I have the three of uh, cups in uh, the bottom of the deck as well, right? So this also kind of signifies uh, sometimes a third party situation. Not always, but yes, it does. So it was impossible to come together with this person and that made you both feel, yeah, there's not real love out here, you know. Where's the love if it's going to be one-sided? One person is just doing all the work here. Yes, this person, see, was uh, the king of cups. Coming to you when they wanted to, said the sweet nothings when they wanted to, took what they wanted, gave you only as much as they wanted to, showed you only as much as they wanted to show you. One hand was the cup and the other hand was something else. This is what this person was and that is why the Empress always felt in the reverse, even though felt a lot of passion for this person, wanted to move this ahead. There was no real love that was being shared. Lack of balance. Okay, two cards which Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Temperance is in reverse. Both not in balance. And when there is no balance, how can there be love? Right now I see this person here, Empress or whoever you are here, Virgo. You're letting this the thing go, right? You're putting down this burden. You're deciding that it's too heavy for me. I just can't be the one who's, you know, carrying all the wands all the time. I think you, you want to drop all this and uh, maybe take your power back. You want to be now in that position of fending for yourself, looking after yourself, you know, focusing on your coins maybe, and uh, getting rid of all the stagnant energy that was in your life. There was a lot of stagnancy uh, here in this situation because uh, there was only one person doing the work. Or maybe you were, <coughs> one person could have also been uh, dependent on the other person maybe for finances here. Yep, 
but they come they you know all the love that you had they killed it with their uh, five of uh, swords behavior now this person is looking to see oh my god <clears throat> this is like hum- you know public humiliation for me uh, whatever's happened it wasn't fair it was uh, it was embarrassing i love this person so much and this is what has happened and now what do i do where do i go next the other person the person here is now wanting to bring balance back they want now temperance back they want to now have an equal give and take and they they want to charge back in so why does this person want to charge in my spirit why is, why does this person want to charge back in yeah they they now they, they want to drop all these other options that they had maybe okay and uh, a- any barriers that were there between the two of you this person is realizing yes i have been unfair i have hurt this person here and uh, whatever i did was wrong and i want to I, I, because there was probably love which was not shown now i want to come back to this person one more card one more card please yes this there was a lot of devilish behavior by, by this person okay here's the devil but they but uh, right now what they are feeling also they could be feeling very addicted to you they don't think they can really let you go uh, devil is a card of addictions you could be addicted to a person you could be addicted to a lifestyle or thing uh, so i think right now they are deciding that yes they want, they have realized that all these other options probably didn't work for them and uh, they want to bring balance back to this relationship they want to get on their chariot and come charging back in because they can't live without you either whatever has finished in their life this person be whatever they feel is finishing they are scared like anything right they feel before this thing really finishes and there's a total death to this relationship i must somehow go back and put this right now the empress here who was feeling in a different uh, energy not feeling loved or whatever this person is kind of um, turned their back okay uh, bhagu this is you you've turned your back on this person and you're saying okay king of cups i'll show you what a queen of cups can be all about so now you don't want, you're holding your cup away from them and you don't want to show them anything and you're not maybe you know focused on a reunion uh, on your end one more card please for uh, person a this is virgo why is why are they in the queen of cups and the three of cups in reverse position because you they, you know this person didn't make you emotionally happy this person did not make you emotionally happy and now it's your turn to show them what you know what they've done but they are coming in as the death in reverse so they don't want this to end at all they want to turn things right and uh, they feel that you know whatever harsh painful times that they have done they want to bring probably a stop to all that they realize that whatever they've done in the past whatever lack of investment that there was in the past was wrong okay and uh, so what do they want to do spirit yeah. they want to they've been so stressed out uh, they've been so stressed out they want to bring an end to all this pain and suffering they will be they've they've been worried they've been really worried that they've lost you virgo if this you know this is your person they have realized what what toxic bad behavior they did to you and uh, now they are worried and they are wanting to come out in the second you know half of june they are desperate to turn the clock basically and in your mutual energy also i see you know there's a uh, you know you're coming out of conflict five of wands in reverse for both of you so you're both wanting to come out of this conflict yet this prevails okay the uh, seven of um swords energy still prevails there is uh, there is some not so good behavior even now yet both wanting to now come out of that whatever sticky behavior there was in the past yes a rebirth a rebirth to this relationship is very very possible ago 
this uh, second half of June. You both are coming out of this, uh, you know, sneaking away, cheating, lying behavior, whoever did it to whoever, getting out of this con com uh, conflict which has happened. And uh, there is a huge possibility that there can be a rebirth and in this relationship. Let's take one more card. Yes, maybe people are returning back. Okay, there's no going away from this. You people are totally attached and tied to each other, and I don't think anybody is leaving anyone right now. There's, there is, uh, yeah. Let's see. Um, how does this person feel about you, Virgo? How does Virgo's person feel about them, Spirit? How does Virgo's person feel about them? They feel you're not happy. Yeah, they definitely feel, you know, you're, you're not happy with them at all. And maybe now you're ready to turn your back on them. One more. How does Virgo's person look at Virgo? Yes, they, they see you They see you as you not wanting to return to them. They see you as not happy, okay, first of all. They see you as... Uh, having turned your back towards them. They see you not wanting to move ahead with them. And they, f they also feel, oh my God, my Virgos just thrown me out on the street as if, you know, they're, they're feeling abandoned by you. Basically, they're feeling abandoned and left out in the cold by you. How do you see your partner? Virgo, how do you see your partner now in the second half of June? Okay. Two more. One more. How does Virgo see their partner? You see them stuck in a self-imprisoned uh, imprisoned state of being. You see them stressed out. You see them stressed, tense, tense. Maybe, you know, there was a third party, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They, you see them as if, you know, they are worried and anxious as to what they've done with this person. And uh, they, you are feeling again like this, uh, yes, there could be a third party situation. And you do see them stressing about who to choose maybe, this uh, other person or you. And uh, you see them coming, maybe now uh, leaving this person behind, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this person behind and coming towards you maybe with a fresh commitment of sorts, wanting to move ahead with you. But you do see them as very, very stressed out, very, very anxious, stressed out and whatever. So let's see what advice the angels have for you. So let's see the outcome. Let's see the outcome. So what, what should Virgo do now? Spirit, what should Virgo do? Okay, Ten of Pentacles. One more. What should Virgo do now? All right, okay, this is a surprise. What should Virgo do now? Oops, two. Knight of Pentacles. Spirit says... Virgo, there will be a brand new beginning for you, okay? There is going to be a brand new beginning in your life. It will be solid. It will be, it'll be uh, a solid, uh, it won't be the knight of wands kind of energy, in and out kind of energy. This will be a stable offer which is going to come to you. This will allow you finally to let down your defenses, okay? And this may lead uh, Virgo to the best card in the deck which is the Ten of Pentacles, the happily ever after. Okay, so now I don't know whether it's going to be with this person. It does seem like it because they are coming back for sure. They can't live without you. They're totally addicted to you. But use your discernment here, I would say. Don't do anything in a rush. Uh, uh, Virgo, as I always say, these cards are to guide you. Okay, uh, you must use your free will to decide the best course of action for you as well. Yes, there is a possibility. Yes, like I said, take take your time. Spirit seconds that, or maybe I'm seconding the Spirit's uh, word. They're saying exactly the same thing. Don't be in a rush this time. Take your time. Make steady progress. Exactly, exactly what I said right now. 
One more card. Uh, one more card, spirit. Angels, give us one more card for a Virgo as to what they should do, how to navigate this energy. Second half of June. Yes. Take a little uh, step back. Okay. Don't be in a rush to meet this person quickly. Or don't give in too easily. Take a little step back. Watch their uh, how this person is behaving. And slow and steady. Give them time to prove to you. Okay. And give them time to prove to you that they mean business. Or else it's all right. We're going to check your energies again next week, right? We'll see where it goes. Uh, right now, just chill. And uh, give me a good, give me a thumbs up now if you like the reading, and uh, subscribe if you aren't. If you see a little blue logo on your cam uh, screen right now, you can click that as well to subscribe or the button below. And take care. Don't be stressed out. You're good. Love and light. Bye, Virgo.